Some big changes are underway in Junction City for a more than 40-year-old piece of military history. KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett caught up with the soldiers who are lending a hand. Dan? Jace, the Atomic Annie Cannon overlooks I-70 and has been there since 1975. It's been a tourist attraction for years, but is getting run down, and that is why the National Guard is helping out. These soldiers have been up on Freedom Park Hill, sweating it out together for over a week. They've been getting to work before the sun comes up, moving dirt before it gets too hot. It's been uh, really hot around here lately, but uh, pouring in the morning and working in the morning has been a lot easier than having to work in the afternoon. They are members of the National Guard and are spending their time to restore this atomic anti cannon. The 47 ton weapon was designed to fire a nuclear warhead from the ground. This one has never been used and has sat on this hill since 1975. The cannon has seen better days, now covered in graffiti. Scott Brown says he's excited to see the cannon get new life. Growing here my whole life, and I was here when the cannon was put in, right, right after it was put in the same day. So I've always thought it was unique. The project counts for the soldiers' exercise training. They've put in new concrete and helped move dirt to build a trail to the display. It's good for the community, it's good for the, the history of the atomic cannon, and uh, they're wanting to make this more visible to public where they can come up here and enjoy it a little bit better. While a lot of the project will be done by the soldiers, the Geary, Geary County Convention and Visitors Bureau has $50,000 for the entire renovation. Live in the studio, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. All right, Dan, thank you. And the director of the Convention and Visitors Bureau says they hope to have this project done by the fall. And